Well, it's Friday, the 28th, and it's around 7 o'clock in the evening. Steve and I have finally arrived at his parents, and um, thought I'd give you a tour of their back garden, which is spectacular. Penny, uh, my mother-in-law, is uh, an exceptional gardener. She really does have um, a gift. And we have all the roadies out now, and uh, I think it's probably, well, it's at peak or in, near peak. Stephen said that it was looking really very lovely um, last weekend. But um, <clears throat> we have quite a few more specimens in her garden than I've seen, you know, when I was growing up in the deep south of the U.S. And... Um, See a very deep crimson there and lovely pink. And unlike um, where I grew up, the um, the rhododendrons and even the azaleas have a wonderful scent. Um, and I'm not sure why, you know, in Alabama and Mississippi where, you know, it's famous for its azalea trails and such, uh, our blossoms do not have the lovely smell that they do here in England, but um, that's one of my favorites over there, the lemon yellow. And then of course you get this kind of pale pink over here. And that, that, that azalea is just starting to go off. And over here she's got a very unusual roadie. I don't know if you can really see, but it's got an unusual um, kind of speckled deep purple lavender center with the white blossoms around it and then there's some lighter yellow and then one of the most unusual specimens at least from my perspective is um this sort of tangerine colored azalea and i can remember when i first came here it was just a little baby of a bush and it's it's really grown since then and it has a lot oh it has an amazing smell but I, I'm honestly, and you know, all my years of growing up and doing the azalea trail, I never saw this shade of azalea before. And I can remember coming here uh, about this time of the year, actually, my very first visit to us uh, who visit Steve's parents, terrifying experience, um, looking out and seeing this beautiful garden and um, this unusual azalea bush and just being really um, in wonder about it and almost kind of a magical feel to this garden. So Stephen tells me my videos are too long. I'll uh, end this one for now and um, record a bit more later. 